Okay, well, Greg gave you a great understanding of what we're trying to do in weight management. And I thought I would put the scientific spin to the whole deal just to make sure that you understand where we're coming from because I think this is one of the most exciting product development projects that all the scientists have been involved with. And I think we've reached a point, we did cross the Rubicon on this one. And uh, essentially, I think we have produced something that surprised even us in science because uh, the first open label clinical study that we did showed us results that uh, we have not seen before. So let me take you through this and, and fundamentally, if we talk about weight management system, and Greg has alluded, in fact, more than alluded to the reality that in most diet systems, when you go through that program, you, although you get on a weight, uh, on a scale, and you see that you've lost weight, but what you have actually lost is not just fat, but you lost muscle too. So for our intents and purposes, what we're trying to do with TR90 is to change that equation that what you are going to lose and what you are going to really not get back would be the fat. But we want to make sure that none of that weight is associated with muscle loss. So that's the, really the key with TR90. And again and again, I think there's a deliberate uh, attempt on our part to make sure that we don't consider this to be just a weight loss program. It's really a body composition and weight management system. And it's not just about a single product. It's really the aggregation and, and the end result of the whole system that's producing this wonderful health benefit uh, from the TR90, when you start using the TR90 system. So we're changing the equation, and fundamentally it's not just our word that most of the diets that you've been using, or some of you may have tried, that uh, they, they, they actually involve and have been associated with muscle loss. Many, many scientific studies have been conducted with such diets, and they've shown time and time again that when you lose the weight, when you step on the scale and you see weight loss, what you are seeing, close to 40% of that weight loss is associated with muscle. So that's really not a good thing because when you lose the muscle, ultimately that explains why you experience what Greg has been telling you, that yo-yo phenomenon that happens. Invariably, right, when you get off a diet, what do you see at 12 months from now? there is a regain or there's a gaining back of your weight. And these studies have shown it. And I also want you to make sure that when you look at this, the types of studies that have been conducted scientifically, another interesting point that have been lost in weight management is the fact that protein plays an absolute key role in weight management. That's the only way you can actually build muscle is true protein intake. Nothing else builds muscle. Carbohydrates, they don't build muscle. Fat clearly doesn't build muscle. It's only proteins. And again, it's something we're focused on in R&D to make sure that within this TR90 system, we have a protein shake or to make sure that the system contains enough protein. And not just a matter of the amount of protein, it's how and when you take that protein that is also pretty key in making sure that you're a healthy weight loss or a weight management system. So, HLOC TR90 is all about body composition then and making sure that you maintain muscle. We, as I've mentioned time and time again, as you leave here today, remember it's not just about losing weight, it's about losing fat. That's the only type of tissue in your body you won't want to lose. What does that all translate to then? They're really just three simple end results, if you will, that we wish to get from TR90. The first thing that we want to make sure is that your basal metabolic rate, in other words, your, met, uh, your metabolism increases uh, with the use of TR90 system. We believe we have found a way and we have developed a one of the supplements to be able to improve your metabolic rate. Because when you have a higher basal metabolic rate, in other words, the resting rate, clearly you can, I think you can appreciate that it will burn more calories. So that's an important uh, key step in, in healthy weight management systems. The second one I've talked about is obviously preserving at the very minimum the lean muscle that you have. 
because any loss in muscle translates to a decrease actually in the basal metabolic rate as well. So that's an important second component of the TR90 system. And then finally, the third one, and this is where another organ kicks in when you want to talk about healthy weight management system, and that's your brain. Because we now know from many studies now by other scientists and, and, and studies that have been conducted in terms of how people can preserve a healthy weight is that if you don't somehow teach your brain that you are full and you are satisfied with what you have eaten, invariably that will lead to you eating more. So for all intents and purposes, when you think about it along those lines, then you would conceptually arrive at a point where you would conclude that the brain is absolutely important. If we don't have an ability or have some component of the TR90 system helping you to control your appetite and helping you to have a, a sense of satiety, I don't think we will be able to achieve the results that we hope in TR90. So those are the three things. It's, it's pretty exciting, the TR90 system, because it's such a breakthrough for the scientists to be able to use our age lock signs, couple that with clinical studies, and be able to choose natural ingredients that uh, can, can go and comprise these supplements. Plus, with these new insights that we, are, we have developed uh, related to protein and how and when you should be eating those proteins, this is this TR90 system is the best that we have ever produced here in Newskin. So you're gonna go all gonna look good. Let me tell you the dirty secret of dieting. Dieting makes you fat. Don't believe me? In the next 90 seconds, I'll prove it. This is Bob. Bob wants to look good at his reunion, at the beach, or just look better naked. So Bob diets and loses 30 pounds. That's great, right? Wrong. Losing 30 pounds and thinking you're healthy is like cutting off both of your arms and celebrating for losing weight. The scale doesn't matter. Everyone has what we call an internal body engine, which consists of your organs and your lean muscle. Your body engine is always running and burning calories. As long as your body engine is running properly, you'll burn calories naturally. When Bob dieted and lost 30 pounds, what he didn't know was only 20 pounds of what he lost was fat. The other 10 pounds were lean muscle from his body engine and therefore lowered the number of calories he burns naturally. So Bob gets off his diet and falls back into his normal eating habits. But since his body engine isn't burning as many calories anymore, all of those extra calories that aren't being used go straight to fat. Bob gains more than he weighed before and so he diets again. But he damages his body engine again and gains even more. He's fallen to the vicious cycle of dieting. So what's a guy to do? Through our weight management programs and unique technology, we focus on body fat percentage and strengthening your body engine, aka building your lean tissue to burn calories naturally. A bigger body engine burns more calories, meaning you'll maintain a healthy body for months and years ahead. Yes! You'll know you're in great shape when you lose inches and your body fat percentage lowers. Now Bob is looking great at his reunion, looking better at the beach, and looking his best when he's naked. We're changing the way the world sees dieting and health. You can do it too. Want to know how? Just ask whoever showed you this video. Call me.